Hi! Hi to everyone, my name is Claudio Piccoli. I'm a photographer from Italy and uh, I'm also a teacher. I teach around the world doing a lot of workshops, photography workshop Dogs in Action. Every year the workshops are, let me say, improved because I try to do always something new. But I'm also a Nikon school master, so I teach in the Nikon school. Something about my life, I have four border collies, three bitches and one guy. Uh, three black and white and one red, a beach. This is the, it's so beautiful. I love them and I also have five sheep to play with my dogs in Sheep Dog, just as passion. Nothing more. So, why am I here? Because this is the first video of an educational series that you will see if you will register in my YouTube channel and uh, for free, for sure. You will see everything for free. So, this is the first video of this series, of this educational series, okay? So stay connected with me, enjoy my channel in YouTube. Now, but why? The main reason is that no one helped me in the past. No one did anything for me to help me in the past. Everyone was so jealous about their secrets. Let me call them secrets, so stupid to call them secrets, because everybody knows something, so we have to share. So this is my step to you, giving to you everything, giving to you basic concept, advanced concept, tricks and secrets of my job and my work for free. I want to share it for free. The message is stay grounded and share with people and have fun with them, okay? Without being, let me say, arrogant, stupid or something like that. Don't be afraid and share without any problem. Okay, first of all, Enjoy your job because this is the, the first secret in dogs photography. Love your job. This is the first secret. So let's go. Let's start. I'm a bit stupid sometimes, but I want you to see my face, my real face. I may, I'm a bit flu. I get sick. I got sick a bit because I went in mountains for a shooting. But anyway, let's go because this is not what you want to see. Let's start from the first video. It's about importing and selecting process in Lightroom that I usually do. This is my method, my way to work. So I will share with you exactly what I do in my work. So no secrets, okay? First of all, we are in Lightroom. Uh, this is already a picture that I post-processed in the past. So in Lightroom, we will go and file and we will create a new catalog. So for the beginners, okay, create a new catalog that is located in my hard disk because it's fast. So in picture, we create a new folder or yeah, nothing, just a new name for the new catalog that I will call Educational Claudio. And I will click, click Create. Now, it's launching again Lightroom that is totally empty. Okay, let's go for the first time in the bottom left of your screen and click Import. Click Import and where to import. Simply, I will import from an educational folder that I had in my storage. It is a N NAS, N -A -S, N -A -S in my net here, in a local network, okay? So I will select check all because I want to import all. In which way? Copying, so I will copy the photos from their location to the new location I decided and add them to the new catalog called Educational Cloud. So with this option on the right, file handling. Okay, don't import suspected duplicate just to don't do it twice. But file renaming for sure, I will check it and using custom name more and original file number. What is the custom text, Claudio? So stupid, I want to do it just now. Extension, leave it, leave as is, okay? So the name will be Claudio and something dot nav because I'm using Nikon. Apply during the import, nothing, none and none, don't touch it. But the destination, you have to decide your destination. So I will go, for example, in my hard disk that is a solid drive, solid drive because it's faster and I will create inside picture a new folder. How to do that? Click right, create new folder, and let's gonna call it new folder, call it educa educational Claudio 2019. Create and choose. 
and we are inside. So, Educational Claudio 2019. Do that, otherwise you will lose all the time the picture in your hard disk and you won't know where they are. This is the first problem. And click Import. So, it's gonna wait a bit here on the left. You can see the process and it's quite finished. And I think it's finished. Yes, it's finished. What you have in front of you? You have, uh, let me say, a main screen with many thumbnails of uh, the photos just imported. Um, what to do in this moment? Because this is the tutorial dedicated to the selecting process, the importing, but the selecting process. So I want to decide which picture, which, which picture I want to go on with to the post processing to the next tutorial okay so let's gonna to see let's go to see the picture better so change the view mode from thumbnail to one picture so let's click on this and you will have this these are not post processed yet this is post processing this is not post processing so with your uh, arrow arrow in your keyboard go ahead or backward okay and what to do simply i want to give a star to my pictures Okay, in which way? You can add stars or color. I prefer the stars for the reason that I'm going to tell you now. This is my method. So, I start with zero, nothing is selected yet, and I start to give one star. The star can be given uh, selecting the number. One, the number one on the keyboard means one star. The number two means two stars. The number three, three stars. The number four, four stars. Number five, five stars. So, I will start from the first, selecting the picture I want to work with. So. I just use my hands, right hands on the arrow and left hands on the numbers from one to five. So let's start. This one. This, I don't want to use this because it's already post processing So now no stars. This is the original fa file. So you will see exactly my soak. Sorry, this is my secret. No, but it is the really original. People are so afraid to show their picture. This is my picture. So one star, I want to post process it. About this, uh, I'm not sure, giving one star at the moment. Uh, one star two, yes. No, nothing. Yes, one star. One star again. I love this dog. One star. And maybe this one also, yes, absolutely. I love it. I took this picture with a 200, 2.0 or something, 2.2, something like that. Then I love this dog too. So one star, one star, quite everything. Uh, this is not so special for me, so nothing. Um, pff, I don't like it so much. This is nice because you can see how much I can recover the shadow later, okay? One star, and this is amazing, but yes, amazing one. And this one is already, bah, that's gonna give one star. Now, I want to see only the picture with one star because again, I have to go on. If I have thousands of pictures, I want to make the process easier, okay? So I go here and you can do in two, in two ways or clicking rated here in the menu, left click and select one star here or, or you can simply, you were in filter off, you just click twice here, one, two, and you have the same exactly result. So starting from the beginning, so click on the first in the center and I want to understand now in the picture I've selected if they are focused or not and if I, I like it or not. So giving two stars this time, okay? So if, if to see if it's focused or not, let's go on the left and navigation. Fit means this is the whole picture. Then one-to-one -one means a zoom or one-to-one -one on the picture, or you can select which kind of zoom. Let's gonna use two-one, that is a big zoom, okay? Two zoom. So how to zoom? Or you left click on the picture directly, so when you want to zoom, for example, here, left click and left click, or with the bar, bar, space bar, space bar. This is focused, so to start. Then the next one, let's see if it's focused, but it's focused, yes. To start again here and go outside. The third photos, I don't like it too much, so probably we'll drop it. Let's see if it's focused or not, to work or not. Yes, it's focused, so two stars. And also this one is focused, so two stars. This is focused, yes, but boom, I don't know. Let's gonna give two stars. Die. Sorry, come back. Yes, go on with the arrow 
and uh, you, you don't, don't forget, right hand on the arrow, left hand on the number. So I go on with this one and space bar to zoom. Yes, it's focused, two stars. This is amazing, two stars. This is, this is amazing too, two stars, I love the dog. This is amazing, but yeah, this is amazing. Keep it, this is just to explain you how to save the shadow, so two stars. And this is focused, but well, drop it. And this is very dark, but we can use it maybe next time, so two stars. Now, let's go here with the mouse and click on the two stars and you will see only the picture with two stars. Start again from the beginning. So this was good, so three stars to this one, three stars to this one, so right hand on the arrow, left hand on the numbers, so three stars. This is, I don't know, oh, three stars, it's, it's funny. Mm, three stars, and I don't know, three stars, if you wanna see how to post-process it. This is amazing, but this also is amazing. Also, let's gonna give three stars only to this one, and go ahead. This also is amazing, and three stars to this one too. This is also is amazing, three stars, and three stars, and I don't know, maybe stop. Now, left click with the mouse on the free star on the right button. Three stars, and start again selecting the picture. So, we right hand on the arrow, left hand on the numbers. Now I will click the four to give four stars. So, this one is very nice. Maybe four stars, four stars, nothing, four stars, or to this one, I don't know what to do. Three stars to this and four star to this, and this is amazing. Uh, let's go on the other side, if this one or this one, but I really don't know, four stars here, for example. Then nothing, mm, this is also amazing. Four stars, and also four stars. Now, click on four stars, and I have the last, and the, let me say, the last rate rating, so five stars. So we start again from the beginning, so, five stars to this one, maybe we can start with this, so you can see exactly what I did. Then, uh, I'm not sure, but we can give five stars to this one also. Five star stars, five stars, ah, that's amazing. And maybe five stars, but let's gonna select all of them. So, we have all the pictures selected with five stars, so okay. And uh, we will start again from this point, the next one, starting from the beginning. So, I hope you enjoyed how to select very easy our picture, we were in the library, and next time we will go in the develop. But at the moment, see you soon, probably a few days, I don't know, but stay connected in the YouTube channel, in my YouTube channel, and um, thanks to Docs Photography for, um, let me say, for sharing my works, and uh, let's go ahead, have fun, and see you soon, and we will let me say, we will see each other in the next video that I hope you will enjoy. I hope you had fun today. Bye!